Hello guys and welcome back to another video and you see my other good time binder here and you know it's time for let's sort my new good seven cards in my binder and I have a whole tab full uh, maybe you saw at my thumbnail how much cards we have so this will be a fairly long video I try to keep it as short as possible but uh, maybe grab yourself a snack clean the kitchen I don't know but yeah, so this is my other binder. It's getting kind of full. <laughs> so here are all my Korean discographies in here. And yeah, we don't look at how sad it looks that I don't have <laughs> everything ready. But yeah, and that reminds me that I have to do a binder update video, but I will do that at the very end of the month. So that's cool. But first of all, we have to get the new cards in here and <laughs> look at the sad collection that is not like even done like once. But yeah, that's okay. That's okay. And I think uh, we will start with pre-order things because I think that's easiest. So like film strips. So no, not pre-order, but the, these biggest will go last. But film strips and the photo card set that I got. And I will not get the keychains in there because they're just too bulky. And then all the Polaroids. So I I'm beginning of trading. So I bought some. I bought the blue set and um, some uh, keychain because I got Jackson like 13 times. And yeah, so hopefully I can trade the other ones because I have some doubles, but that's okay. I just try to get everything in here because I don't know. Yes, that seems to work. So the rest goes back. But yeah, I think we will start with the film strips. And I have an idea how I can store them. I have... Um, these um, business card sleeves so originally they are for business cards and by the way everything that I'm using is linked down below because I always get so many questions so I thought I will do this beforehand so you don't have to ask and just look and these are eBay affiliates so if you purchase them I get a little, a little bit commission that costs nothing to you but I can afford Mogat 7 cards so that's awesome <laughs> yeah just saying beforehand everything is down there if you have still have questions feel free to ask i always happy to answer you because setting up a binder and collecting can be hard sometimes if you haven't done it before so yeah but yeah so i have these sleeves and originally because uh these are through i thought about like um making like white paper behind them but not like white paper in here but just a white sheet of paper that's just behind them because that's so much easier and because they are so big I will show you in a minute I can't put them so I only can put one in and not two so I have to use two sides and so I think I will do like four and three so it's kind of symmetrical and yeah we'll just just put them in and I always do age order, but I have to see where is Mark. I'm only missing Bam Bam from... No, I'm missing Mark. <laughs> no, do I miss Mark? Yes, I miss Mark. So, Mark is not here. Hopefully, I can trade for him soon or buy him. I don't know. But trading, I would prefer. I haven't done God 7 cards in such a while. So, hopefully, I get the age order right. So, I know. Then comes Jackson. And Jin Young. And then we are done for this page. And then we have the second one. Oh man, it's dirty. Looks like this. And then we have Young J, Yugi, uh, Bam Bam, and Yugi. This is on top of. Uh, I hate when you have like small dirt stuff in there. Nightmare for a collector. So, this is how I choose to put them in and honestly I haven't really thought about the um, direction I want to put them in uh, because 
uh, like how biggest to smallest and stuff. But I thought we'd start with the film strips. Then we will do the pre-order for Polaroids because they have special cards and I think they could separate. And then we do the films, uh, the Polaroids, and then we do the normal cards and then we do the big cards. So that's kind of how I want to do it. Maybe I will change. So these are done, kind of easy. So yeah, these like, you don't have to use my kind of uh, sleeve but that I use, but especially for Japanese cards, these business cards sleeves are so useful because they are small and long and you don't really get that with the nine pockets. So that's awesome for that. But yeah, now we have to use the nine pockets. So I use the normal thing that everybody who has a binder uses Lightly Ultra Pro. I use the Platinum series and yeah, these cards I got as pre-order when I ordered from Birth Drama. That's one of the reasons why I bought from them and not from K-Town, but they were similar prices. So they are common sleeves, but these sleeves are too long for my liking. So I will put them in my uh, other sleeves. So I use these inner sleeves. They're also from Ultra Pro, but they are side loading and that makes such a difference because if you have like top of uh, top loading in my in my taste they always uh move around when i put them in and that honestly i hate that so we will remove the plastic and then we can put them <laughs> put them in and yeah so honestly i'm kind of not motivating to collecting because <laughs> i have so so much left on collecting and uh, honestly the last few months I kind of have like letting it be and with with cut seven I don't know what's happening with that contract we have to see what will be you know so I put the cards already in the sleeve because I thought that would be boring for you guys to watch but yeah these are just normal side loading sleeves I use them just for protection and because they don't slide around and uh, sometimes when you have your binder like you carry it and then everything falls out and that sucks, you know? But with these ones it is so much easier and we will do them in H order as well and luckily I have all of them. So I always, uh, because this is a 9 pocket sleeve, I always leave um, spaces in there. So normally. <laughs> If I had time and the patience, I would fill them with uh, papers just to look nice, but you know <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. Maybe I should do that again, but yeah uh, Go in there Who are you? Who are you? So Nothing too interesting Where is JB? Is, am I missing JB? Am I? I'm missing one card. I haven't even noticed that. I know I have JB. Here he is. He, he tried to escape, but here he is. I was just really confused because <laughs> I know that I have, have the whole set because luckily I got the whole set. And I was I just uh, counted seven pages. Uh, I took them out and I was like, wait, why do I have one left? Am I dumb? Can't I count? But yes. Yeah. Turns out I'm not dumb, I can count. <laughs> Just I didn't get all the cards out. But yeah. So this is how they look. I always have them in age order because I like that. That's easy. Because some people have them like biases, but then your biases change and then you have to do all the things again. But yeah. That's why. Just keep it simple. And yeah. Now to the hard part. How do we store these Polaroids? And I have my heavy, heavy boxes right beside me here, the right one. You can use them from Ultra Pro or any other brand as well, but I use Veloplex, that's a German brand, and these are slightly bigger, so everything fits in. That's, that's awesome. So these are four pockets, and I just have to see, yeah, we have to do them. Can we do them right in there? Oh, that would be awesome. No. So we have to do them sideways because they are slightly too big for putting them in the right way. But that's okay. And I will do them double sided just because uh, the back is not like nothing fancy. It's just the same color. And yeah, you know, space costs money and that's why we have to do that. So 
This is how we do it. I don't know. So I always don't follow me. I always lay them out like I would do, and then I just pair them up, and voila. So that is that. So now I have to to see that I get the right way. And then we can put them in and hopefully, am I right? One, one, one. One second. <laughs> one second because I have it the wrong way now. And when I turn it, it's like this. So when I, when I look through my binder, because this is on, oh God, because I'm filming from this side. So that's, that's good jogging for my brain here. <laughs> So do it like this and then we have them and yeah I try to make them the same direction because otherwise they go crazy a little bit OCD here but that's okay so when we look here then we have Jinyoung going in here and then we have the other two boys going in here. Oh, wrong. That was the right way. So let's see if I'm right. Oh no, I put Mark wrong. But oh, that's okay. Sorry you can't see, but I'm filming from the side and it's kind of hard to manage. But I can't put the camera anywhere else because we've got a new table and my table is so big that I can't use my other setup where it's in front and uh, in, in the center of me. But yeah, this is how it looks. Hopefully I got it right. Yes, there doesn't seem to be a mistake in there. <laughs> so yeah, that's awesome. And I try to do double-sided as much as possible because it just saves pages and space, honestly. And if the bag is really pretty, then I would do it like that. But yeah, so now we come to the hard part, photo cards. <laughs> and I just have to get them all. They're all in here and then we have to sort them. Come on out. And I don't really have a particular order, but I always print out these sheets from Twitter. You can find them there. So this is from a lot of people, but uh, yeah, I can't remember where I got this, but yeah, and I use them to take off the cards that I have and I also use them as my sheet how I will lay out my um, my card sets because otherwise it kind of gets confusing and yeah. So let's start with the first one. So the first one is the doll thing or maybe we'll just sort them. Sorry, you can't see all of that. <laughs> Maybe I just do it like this. So they have the dolls and I will just try to sort them and see which sets go together because that makes everything easier. So we have a nine pocket sleeve again and we will sleeve the cards again and then we will just put them in and I have one, two, three, four, five, six sets out of seven. So I got the one Jackson card that looks like a Polaroid, but I gave it to my friend because I will collect them anyways and Jackson is a bias, so that is not a problem for me. And the other Jackson I had double and it will be it will take a while until I finish this set, honestly. Because I haven't finished the other set, but you know, you have to have goals in life. And yeah. So for this set with the dolls, I have three, three cards. So I have JB, Young J, and Ye, uh, Jin Young. <laughs> Can't speak anymore. Really, really cute. Really, really cute. And uh, let's do this setup differently. You guys can't see anything and that sucks because so the binder we will just get later when we need it so you can see I think that's better right because if I do something like up here you can't see it and I can't really change the camera angle because then you see the lamp and then everything is too bright yeah <laughs> 
YouTuber problems. So is this the right way? No, this is not the right way. Wait, so if I put it in, I do it like this, yes. So <laughs> just some gehirn jogging here. So we just do it like age order again or no. And I always try to see that the plastic is not getting wrinkled up because once it's wrinkled, you can't get it unwrinkled. So, and Jin Yong always comes in the middle. That's easy to remember. And then we have our Yang Jae. And that's that. So, and then from there I go and collect hopefully the cards. And I will just put it in so we know. Just move it. Is it in there? No. It's always... Four, like, four rings are nice for stability and stuff, but getting stuff in there sometimes is kind of a problem. So, next. For the next set, we have the balloon set, and then we just have two cards. Um, Bam Bam and Young Jay. And, yes. So, let's sleeve them. Uh, where do you go? You go here. This is the right way. Yes, this is the right way. But with new sleeves, sometimes they don't uh, really open. So you have to see about that. Now I have a window open because it's really hot here. It's winter, but it's not winter, you know. <laughs> uh, filming for such long hours. I really enjoy filming. But when you are like filming two or three videos in one day, you get tired. <laughs> oh, I should have done that the wrong way, but yes, that's that. So next, and even though if I don't have cards, I will still put binder uh, a sleeve in just for myself to know that uh, there is a collection that I should put in here. So for the Polaroids, as I just told you, I don't have any cards because I gave Jackson to my friend. So we'll just put an empty thing here and uh, in, at the, in the future, in the future, yes, you know. <laughs> Um, when I started, I put like uh, like placeholder things in with the names, or where I would print stuff out. But honestly, that's just too much uh, stuff to print out, and it's just wasteful. So I stopped doing that. It looks nice. So yeah, if you can reuse something, that's nice. But I personally try to be more like environmentally conscious. And yeah, <laughs> even though collecting K-pop is not environmentally conscious with all the shipping, but yeah, that's another topic. So next. Said we have what do we have here? Where is my Jackson? Who are you? Where is my Jackson? Here he is. So we have the prism sets, I call them, because they have like a diamond, a prism in their hand. Prism, no prisms. <laughs> Sounds the same. I don't know if it's called the same in English, but yeah, we in Germany call this prism. Not uh, to uh, confuse with where you lock up the bad guys, that's a prison. So yeah, I have Jin Young, Jackson, Young Jay and Bam Bam. Young Jay, I only, when I counted Young Jay, I have like 6 out of 7 cards for Young Jay. And that's really good because normally you get like 2 or 3 cards, maybe 4 for each member. But Young Jay, Young Jay loves me this time. If I had so much luck with uh, Jin Young, oh, it would be awesome. <laughs> But, you know, the boy is not, not coming through. Have to collect that. But yeah, we will get there. Even though it looks sad now, the collection, we will, we will try our best. <laughs> I will try my best, but yeah, you know, Corona and earning money and spending so much money on photo cards, it's not a priority, honestly. So we put them in. As well. Then for the next set, we have the cloud fluffy thing. I have a lot of cards for this one. I have five, so I'm only missing two. What a cotton candy is it called, right? <laughs> Sometimes I can't uh, speak English and I try to remember almost so much vocabulary, but it's kind of hard to think of everything when you have so much German in your head and don't use English regularly. So, sleeve them in. And I think that's why I also like to do this video because it's practice my English, even though sometimes my English is horrible. 
but you know, I try my best. <laughs> and I still use English in school, but it's like different English compared to what I used in uni days. It's like baby English, but learning new vocabulary is always fun because you need that language without vocabulary. You can't learn it because it's like too hard. So yeah, let's put them in. Sometimes I think about like starting Korean again, but then I'm like, where do I have the time for that? Honestly, you don't. <laughs> and even though I have like holidays right now, I'm so tired, you know, Christmas was nice and all, but I don't know, I'm so tired and I always feel like uh, just doing nothing would be awesome. But you can't do nothing all the time because you have so much to do even on your holidays. And that sucks. So this is JB. <laughs> Couldn't really see him behind his cloud. Ah, uh, come on. Only three cards left that we have to do and then we could do the big cards. No, you go, go here, you go here. I really like the set like with a pop of color in there. And uh, when I am finished, I will show you a uh, quick slip through still can't say that word um so you don't have to wait until the actual video so next set and for the next set we only have one card so that's easy only have young jay put him in his sleeve and then put him away and last set uh, is this the right way no this is the right way so this is the kissing set, I call that. And for those we have two cards. Young Jay again, because the boy loves me. And Yugyam, any Mark. <laughs> uh, when they are on top, they all look the same with the hairstyle. So we have finished with the small cards, oh my God. <laughs> Yay! Only have to do the big cards. So get in there. Get in there. Eh. So let's leave, leave this open. So the cards that we have now. Oh my god. Uh, Keychains we don't need. So the last thing that we have are these big cards so I only have the red set and I bought the blue set and then we have these mini folder and honestly you could put them in like this but you can't see and the pictures are so gorgeous and I thought about I did this already where with young Jay you just fold it the other way so it doesn't hurt the card but you can see the face so I think that's what I will be doing because it's such a shame to just put them in like this in your binder and you can't really see and you know what you want to see because the, the pictures are really really gorgeous so yeah i think i will do that but for that we need two pockets because they are really really big so we have to change i have my my heavy things here one open so these are from the same brand, Veloflex, as well. And it's nice and big. So I think we will start with this. And I think I will do them double again. Ugh. Come on out. So these cards are uh, really gorgeous. But I will do them double sided because they just have their name at the back. And just space, space, space is the keyword. So we just need two pockets. And we do the same method again, just to lay them out and just put them in and then we have it. So these are the perfect size. So I try to make it like they seem like one card because I don't really like it when they like move around. So this fits perfectly. <laughs> they were a little bit bigger and we had a problem. So. Yeah, so first one. Oh no, I just made a mistake. Oh, it's too, it's like 11 p.m. and I can't really think. So again, 
maybe you found the mistake and think like either you're you're dumb <laughs> which just say want to say dumb bitch but now i don't uh, want to do that so uh because they go on one page we don't have four pages so these two go together then you go there and uh, you go there and you two go there so yeah now we have it I was in two pocket mode because when you uh, flip through them you look at the back of the first one and then not on the second one so makes a lot more sense when I show you later but my brain is not really functioning at the moment but yeah, that's okay so these are in and if I get when I get my blue ones I will put them in the same way just behind them and let's put them in oh, don't fall out so first one second one so oh no you always miss one come on in no yes so we come to my last one and i think we will do the same like double sided and as i just told you we will do them reverse because then you can look at them and not like and it doesn't damage them so you can just like put them in the other way again so that is nice honestly the photos are really cool you could frame them but honestly i don't have a wall space anymore and then i have to buy so many frames and that's expensive <laughs> and money is not vi widely available so you're almost done if you're still at this video congratulations i'm really proud of you <laughs> try to do this as fast as possible so i'm missing uh, bam bam for this one but i will just leave space for him so that's okay hopefully i can trade him so we have JB goes here. Hopefully they fit. They seem kind of big. Then we have you. You go here. You go here. And then we have Mark. And you two go here. So does this make sense? Hopefully they fit. Because they seem kind of big. Oh, they fit barely. Barely. But they fit. So that's everything I need to know. No, they're not kind of even, but yeah. So, they look at different directions, but can't change that. <laughs> so, these two, and then we are done. Oh my god. Putting new collections in binders is exciting, but it's almost always so much work, especially if you collect God 7, because they always have so much random stuff. If I just had photo cards, uh, that would be a different story, but yeah, you have like 300 sets of photo cards, and I did it the wrong way, but fine, we just switch them around. So then I will just quickly show you how it looks finished and yes, really happy with how it turned out. So just move it so you can see uh, with the lights. I'm sorry, maybe I just do it like this a little bit. So we have the film strips here, so maybe I will just do some... Um, white uh, background so that you can see them easier but so far we have this and i'm still missing one so that will come later and then just put this here. ah i don't have to hold it you can still can't see it really is this better no <laughs> so uh, but i can't make the light out because then you can't see anything so maybe i will just hold the page on so yeah this is the pre-order thing that's finished that's awesome then we have the polaroids they're also finished that's awesome 
And then we have the photo cards, the normal ones. But yeah, this is just how it normally looks when you start a photo card collection. You have a little bit of everything and man sometimes you have nothing. <laughs> but yeah, kind of happy to start with that. At least I have, except for one uh, set, I don't, I don't have one card. But for all, the other set, I have at least one or maybe two or three. So... Here we have the big cards, so when I get my blue cards in, I will do that. And then I really like that I turned the card because you can see them so much better ex uh, if you were staring like at the gray area that they was before. So yeah, this is how I put them in. So if you have any questions for collecting, binder stuff, K-pop stuff, everything else, just ask me down below and if I can answer them, I will try to do that as fast as possible normally i'm really fast because i read all the comments but yeah so binder video will be coming soon so keep an eye out for that we'll try to upload this this year but maybe next year i don't know and yeah guys uh, pages and all the stuff that i use is linked down below if you're interested in looking to see what i use and i will try to wrap up this video fast i wish you a happy new year if this is my last video, I don't know, <laughs> but uh, wishing Happy New Year twice is better than none. So Happy New Year and I hope you uh, go into the new year really good. And yeah, if you enjoy my video, please follow me down below, ring the bell icon so that you can see when I upload a new video and my Instagram is linked down below if you want to follow me there. And yeah, I say bye for now. Bye!